You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. A local student's history project made its way from the classroom all the way to the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. Reporter Jake Kusta shares with us this story. From an assignment to the Smithsonian, Jacqueline Foreman and her project partners from Bloomfield Hills High School had an unexpected trajectory for their history project. So it started as a final for my advanced placement U.S. history class, and then from there we went through a school competition and then district states, and we made it all the way to nationals and even had it displayed at the Smithsonian Museum. So it started as something small and kind of bursted into something large. And then my group members and I, who unfortunately couldn't come, we wanted to learn more about our state's history as we'd been learning about other states' history in the class but nothing really specific about Michigan's history. So that's kind of why we took the topic and then it expanded from there. Their project was based on the Toledo War, a dispute that ended up shaping the state of Michigan as we know it. So the National History Day contest, the overall arching theme was conflict and compromise. And so, like I said, we wanted to bring it to Michigan. And so we started researching conflicts and compromise in Michigan. And this was the most prevalent one that seemed interesting. This war led to Michigan becoming a state, and so if it didn't happen, who knows how much longer it would have been until Michigan gained its statehood. Students from all over were a part of this competition, giving Jacqueline a perspective on conflicts from many different places. So, I mean, we didn't really expect to go this far as we thought it'd just be a school thing, maybe states, that's it. Because my friend did it, and when she didn't get to nationals, we all got up and were like, no, there's no way on earth we're going. Ours isn't nearly as good as hers, but when we got it and realized we were, we were all just shocked and in awe of the fact that we made it. And it was just a really eye-opening experience because it was people from all 50 states, the territories, and a few countries in um, Asia. So we really got to see other events through people's eyes in different states and countries around the world. Despite the trip to our nation's capital and all the recognition, teaching and sharing info with others is what's most important to Jacqueline. I mean, to me personally, anything getting to teach anyone anything more is a huge accomplishment as if you don't continue to teach, it just gets buried away. And so the fact that, like you said, we don't learn it in schools, but I was still able to educate people who may not have learned about it before was really meaningful to me. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Jay Kustash. For more, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash Smithsonian student. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.